Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. In a good, good time. So today's video is a weekly Aldi food shop grocery haul. Now this is quite a big one to be honest because we needed a few bits and we really wanted some snacks so there's a lot of snacks in this one. I will put the prices on screen so it helps you for when you go to Aldi. Also for those that are new here, please just subscribe. But also, um, this weekly food shop is for two of us. One of us is vegan, one of us, one of us is not, just to clarify that. Because there is a mix of meat and vegan bits in here. So, also at the end, there's a few little bits that I got from Home Bargains because we need them there as well. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. So here's a little bit of an overview. There is more behind me, but I thought I'll start over here with the bread. We've got a tiger bloomer because we've hardly got any bread in. Like, here's a little look into the freezer. There's like not much there. And I... That bag, by the way, is pumpkin puree for anyone wondering. Um, I did that the other night. But I got a Tiger Blue Mag because I'm literally obsessed with like crumpets, toast, that kind of thing at the moment. Anything really carby in the morning. I literally love doing this with bread. Squishing it. Um, picked up these six dinner rolls with sourdough. Oh my god, I'm excited to have these with some soup. I imagine that with like. Oh, just imagine it like if you're having friends around for dinner as well and have a roll with you know how you have them on the fancy dinner plate things yeah you, you know what i'm on about i thought they look really nice i picked up them picked up the high protein sandwich bins adam literally loves these has them all the time then we've got these bagels now i'm not sure if i remember whether i like these or not because i can't lie the warburton ones are amazing but they're a bit pricey at times so got these ones from aldi i think they're 85p so I thought I'd try them out. So I like a little bit of variety of breakfast bits because I love carby things in the morning. Um, we got two packs of bananas this time because we realised we got a pack of five. They're gone by Tuesday and then today is Friday. Friday night is when we do our weekly food shop now. Um, so yeah, we picked up two of those. And then we got some Granny Smith apples, which I'm so happy that Adam picked those ones up because they're so nice. Then we got some battered onion rings. I've not had these in a while and I have a lot of things in the freezer that's like to go with like chips and bits, lots of vegan bits. As you can see there, we can have a lot of fake away bits. We've got some corn fillets and things like that. I know this isn't a Tesco haul, it's an Aldi haul, but I just want to show you in the freezer. Um, then I picked up some sweet potato pakora. I haven't had this in ages. It is absolutely banging. So, so good. So I might have some salads next week for work. Then we've got Adam some 10 mild cheddar slices. Literally gets these every week. They're the, the cheap ones, but he really likes those. Then I've got the vegan no chicken peri peri pieces. I literally love this in a wrap with some vegan cheese. And some sweet chilli sauce. Oh, banging. So, so nice. Then we've got some wonky blueberries. Love the wonky range. We've also got some reduced fat coleslaw and a potato salad for Adam. A pack of chicken breasts for Adam. And also some chicken trimmings for his lunches. He normally has this for dinner. Then we have some hummus. Love a bit of hummus. And we've got some Biscoff spread because we're literally out of that. We love that one. It's smooth and it's vegan. Of course, we love that. Also, we've got some protein puddings for Adam. We've got the pudding and also six of the protein pots. Those that are new to these, um, they have a lot of protein in them. That was a bit obvious. Um, but anyway, I'll show you the flavours. We've got vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, um, salt caramel and vanilla. They also do raspberry as well. And I'm pretty sure they do a salt caramel in the pudding as well. And they also do the freebie things and the chocolate mousses. But that's it for that side. Moving over to here, there's another little overview. We have some wonky parsnips. Picked up the biggest parsnip I could find. Um, also got wonky carrots. Now, I was looking at their normal carrots. And they were 12p cheaper. But if you pay 12p more for the wonky carrots, you get half a kilo more. So I was like, you know what? That makes more sense to get a bigger bag. Because we use carrots quite a lot anyway. Same with the wonky potatoes. I was looking for like the bigger potato wonky ones this time because I make a lot of homemade chips because I am obsessed with chips on this channel. So just so you know, I literally love chips. Anything potato, I'm obsessed with. Then we have some linen room spray. I think this was like 50 odd P or 60 odd P or something. It's so, so nice. Um, I've actually bought it to take it to work because we don't have any air freshener there and I want it to smell nice. Um, we have oat milk. So I'm almost out of that. I love oat milk, especially from Aldi. It's just so, so good. Picked up some squirty squash. I put this in my gym bag. Um, it saves me running out of that. And it's just more convenient than taking a big bottle with me. I don't do that. I'm just clarifying. And um, we have some Pringles. Now, I normally get the Aldi Pringles. Now, I've noticed the difference. Like, the crunch between the Pringles and the Aldi. The Aldi ones are a lot thicker. Wherever, um, 
the Pringles are a lot nicer, how they're like, you know, and they're just not as thick and they just crunch nicer. And yeah, I just had to get it. But they were like 40p more, they were like £1.69. Whereas the Aldi ones are like 125 or 115 or something. So I thought I'd trick myself to get them. Because seeing as we've got some hummus and lots of crisps to go with my hummus. We've got the root vegetable with sea salt hand cooked crisp. I'm very excited to have these. I'm pretty sure I've had those before and they were quite nice. I've just realised if they got milk in. No, what do they say? Suitable for vegetarians and if they're literally just vegetables. Very odd. Anyway, we've got milk chocolate raisins and milk chocolate peanuts for Adam alongside chilli peanuts. I don't like nuts. Unfortunately, the only nuts I like is almonds. So, I wish that I did because they're really good fats, but oh well. I know this is an excessive amount of sweets, but I got very excited when I saw that every single pack here are all vegan. Like, oh my god, these are the Aldi version of squashies. We've got the jelly cherries, gummy mix, and teeth and lips. I haven't had these since before I was vegan, so this makes me very happy. This might not even be a new thing, but. I've never looked before because I always thought they had like gelatin in them. So I was very happy when I found those and they're very, very cheap. Also got some tortilla chips, lightly salted to go with my hummus. I'm really gutted, right? They don't have the red masara, I think it is, dipping out anymore. I'm pretty sure it's seasonal. It's just for the summer. So I was gutted that I couldn't find that. So I just got hummus instead. And then we've got some salad bits. We've got an iceberg lettuce. I haven't picked a quite small one, I've just realised. Um, big bunch of spring onions. Can't believe they used to be like 29p and now they're 49p. Oh, and then this is like the skinniest cucumber I've ever seen. Like, wow. Um, they didn't have very big ones. Lol. Um, then we got a 30% off organic broccoli. I love a bit of organic um, fruit and veg. But it's expensive, so we don't always go down that route. Um, but then this is what we got from Home Bargains. We got some Watsits and some McCoys. That are, I'm pretty sure they're vegan because I looked at the ingredients and they're um, vegan by ingredient. And also picked up this champagne cheers oh my god if you see the smell it it's so nice scent of champagne and white peach you can really smell the white peach and it's so nice and they've got it for one pound 25 in home bags at the moment so sorry if i'm losing my voice like i feel like i'm so dehydrated then adam's picked up these reese's pieces cups in the white and the milk chocolate i'm pretty sure and then every time it comes to near christmas these come out the gigantic reese's pieces book cup thing i'm pretty sure they're like two, two wait like two Two half pound cups, yeah, that's that's a lot. Then I picked up a drumstick squashies thing for my car because my car freaking stinks right now and I need to sort it out tomorrow. So that is going to be my test for a Saturday morning. Clean my car, how fun! <laughs> Adult thing at its finest. And um, we have the Forest Berries Glade um, spray because we like to update. Oh, we, what I I'm just full of rubbish right now. Uh, we need to remove the old ones because there's nothing coming out and this sounded like a very good smell. We normally have the linen ones or the peony, I think it is, um, but they're really nice. Also, this does smell really, really good. I'm pretty sure it was 69 pigs. Adam put it in his car because he bought one as well. It smells so good. So I'm glad that we picked that. But yeah, that is everything that we got. But also, another thing that I always, always love to get an Aldi is their magazine, which I always say in my Tesco hauls as well because they're the best. I love to see what's new in, and they've also got this. Now, I don't actually know what this one is. Is it like a gift guide in a way? Oh, no, it's all the Christmas. Oh, this is going to give me some good inspo. Oh, my God, that trifle. Oh, that looks amazing then. Anyway, yes, I always say get the magazine as well. You just see some good things that come in. I just love it. I love the magazines in all the shops. I love it so much. Please do give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more from me. I really hope you've enjoyed it and I hope to see you soon in a brand new video. Bye.